So how to have a decent follow through. In today's video, I will show you techniques, what you need to do to improve your follow through and drills to implement and build consistency. Let's go. So the first thing what you need to do, you always need to finish your shots to your chest contact. Not too much to drop your elbow and scoop the Q-tip up and not too early and make your grip more rigid around the chest area here. I will show you. To the chest. In this way, you always will have a consistent follow through position and most likely you will pod more balls and make better position. The second thing what you have to remember is to make sure that your backswing and transition is nice and smooth tempo. Make it equal. It's a good reference point. If you want to remember the correct movement in general, because everybody's different, just remember that prolong one and prolong two. So it looks like this. One, two. In this way, you, you are more likely to deliver smoothly. So I will show you. One and two. This kind of cue action gives you nice feeling on the ball and you're more likely to have better timing and of course, better follow through. The first thing what you need to do to improve your follow through is to have a decent smooth grip tension. What I mean decent smooth de grip tension, it, it means that you don't have to be too loose like this, that you're throwing the cue or you don't want to be tight like this Ben, because if you're tight in your grip the whole arm becomes tense so you want to have about medium tension and medium tension could be for somebody looks loose for somebody is a little bit more tense but in general you want to have control in your grip because in this case you're more likely to deliver through the ball straighter so i will show you an example of the nice tension of the grip for me so it looks like in my Setup position is pretty loose, smooth, and during transition is loose like this. Usually, when it's tense, you're not open up your index finger. You are tense like this, and it makes your cue action a little bit more rigid. So just make sure as you deliver the cue, you open like your gun, your index finger, because it allows you to keep the chest contact and also follow through with smoother action on the ball, which makes your timing better. So I will show you. One and two, you see? It's it's opening up slightly, but not too much. Don't play like that because then you will, your Q-tip is gonna go up, but don't be rigid like this because then it's gonna make your Q action more jabby like this and your elbow will go up. So that's it about grip. 